we can all agree that 2020 has been a very interesting year to say the least, right? A bit of an understatement. But looking at things in an optimistic way, I have never seen this amount of amazing free VST plugins being released. You know, a lot of musicians, obviously, excuse me, everybody is stuck inside. Musicians are making more music than ever before. And as a result, there's been so many amazing free VST plugins that have been released by so many different companies. And I reviewed hundreds of free VST plugins on this channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the seven best free VST plugins of 2020. Kicking it off is the BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover. Now, these are not meant to be in any particular order, these seven, but if I had to pick one of 2020 that is the best that I've seen so far, without question, is this plugin. It's kind of a unique way you kind of download it. You enter in your information. It takes two weeks to get that download link, and then you can download it. But in terms of the sound quality and the GUI, this is hands down the best. So I'm just going to play it. So I have violins. And for each one, you have different articulation settings. So I have like spiccato, for example, pizzicato. That kind of Zelda sound. And as you can see, I'm just going to kind of go around. There's so many amazing just sounds. I'm just going to play different ones, like the horns. We have violas. And as you can tell, they already add some stereo width to it too, so they purposely kind of pan it. So if you notice, a bit more on the right side, especially if you're watching this video with headphones, but over here, a bit more on the left side, right? So that way, if you make like a full orchestral arrangement, it's already perfect for stereo width. Just showing you random ones, two flutes. Because I feel like for a lot of these instruments, especially like oboes and clarinets, it's really tough to find a really good free VST plugin. So you download this one and you're all set. Next up, we have the Valhalla Supermassive. This is kind of a unique blend of a delay plugin and a reverb. And also Valhalla is legendary for all of their plugins. So I have this basically turned off right now because obviously it's an effect that you add onto something. This is basically a Drezzo plugin, so. So you can hear it kind of completely dry. Now throwing this on, and you can do an insane amount with this plugin. All right, now you have different modes here. So I can, and you kind of have the description right here. So you notice like the delay is super long, the attack on that. So if I do like, slowly fades in. All right, and then also I have different presets so I can show you so different echoes so I can try like eighth notes. Uh, to do some guitars. So that almost kind of unique swell at the end. And also all these algorithms that it's using are amazing. So you notice it's a very slow on that one. Learn some modulation, so let's try like some example, some ambiances, some chorus. Very subtle on that one. So the chorus slap. We have the ensemble, so like a fast ensemble. So you can see, like it changes the complete texture of any element in your track. So some flanging. Not the biggest fan of flangers, if you want me to be honest, and it is clipping a little bit. But uh, now let's do some reverbs, right? So, very small ones. Let's do a uh, dirty snare. Let's do some massive. I mean, it's called the super massive, so billions and billions. This one is, for this, I'd probably resample as a brief production side note, because that tail is so long, I'd probably resample this and then uh, kind of do some stuff with it. Or maybe even make like a reverb tail and reverse it. But yeah, as you can see, and then now we have some random uh, sound effects. So let's try the Void Pulsar. So it doesn't even play when I patch it, it just kind of slowly has a tap. Really cool, the Great Annihilator. <laughs> I like that name. But as you can see too, you have different modes here. Also, I can do the mix and width, the, the delay, the warp, the feedback, the density, different modulations and EQing. 
This is an insanely powerful plugin. Easy the best I've seen, honestly, when it comes to reverb and delaying. Next up, we have the Voltage Modular by Cherry Audio. They released this as well for 2020. One of the many companies that released a lot of their plugins, or even sometimes like a mini version or kind of like a demo version for free. This, as you can see, is an amazing modular synthesis plugin. What's cool, I'm just gonna pick a random, let's do the basic ARP, is I can move these around here. So even the GUI, if even if I drop it, you notice that the, the cord kind of like dangles a little bit. So it kind of has that kind of almost kind of unique kind of physics engine, right? How it kind of like flows like that. And I can remove these. It's complete modular synthesis. The one thing I will say about this plugin, it's unbelievably CPU intensive. So also I'm recording this video while also playing it. So it might uh, glitch up a little bit, but let's see. Actually, not too bad, okay. So you can see in the sound quality is insane too, and I can adjust all these however we want. Uh, it's kind of clipping a little bit, or not clipping, but the CPU's going a little out of whack, as you can see there, just from this one plugin. So it is a bit CPU intensive, I will say, but this is like a really fun one to mess around with, especially if you want to get into modular synthesis. I mean, it's easy the best modular synthesis free plugin I've seen yet. Next up, we have Xenology. I will say this is actually a VST3 file, just in case you put it in your DAW and you're like, wait, I don't find it. You have to obviously activate your VST3s. But what's cool about this one is basically a giant rompler plugin. So obviously we have just the pop kit now, but as you can see, tons of options from instruments to synthesizers to even vocal stuff like the jazz dues. Nope, nope, let me do this. All right now, in addition, I can obviously add some effects in too. I can do some, and then the, uh, put this in. So if I want to add in some more stuff here, right? I have all these different options to add in chorus modulations, uh, different drives. I want to add in filter or phaser. If I want to even make it lo-fi, right? Which is obviously super popular right now. I don't like that compression. Let me try Bit Crusher. Yeah, I think a bit more low if I like that. But I also I'm just picking that one. But we have Horn Blast. That Hans Zimmer cinematic Horn Blast. All the way up to the Ooze Chord. Ooze Chord. Ooh, very jazzy. Be kind of cool for like almost an elevator style um, house record. It's like boom, boom. It's kind of like a tech house style groove. Trance synth. And... Now being honest, some of the synths I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's just amazing how they have all these different ones. I mean, like I said, you can easily make an entire song just on this one from the percussion. Uh, let's do the wafting organ. Maybe kind of mess around with that delay a little bit would be kind of cool. And then, Shaformant Pad. I'm just picking random ones. I'm always very curious how they actually come up with the names for the presets themselves. Try like the voice lead. Reminds me a little bit of that Afrojack style Miami bass stuff. And then we have, you know, a marimba. Next is the legendary contact player. Now what's cool about this is that when you get contact from native instruments, not only do you get the contact player, but you get something called complete start. So not only does it give you contact itself, but it comes with a bunch of other plugins and it gives you basically these two uh, selections right here where I basically, excuse me, three selections right here. I have the Connect Treats, Connect Factory uh, Selection, and the Play Series Selection. So what's cool about this is not only are you getting the Contact Player, which you can import pretty much any Contact file you want, but you get some very unique sounds here, so. Like these kind of. Now Contact is legendary because there's so many amazing plugins out there. Like one of the best I have is the Free Orchestra by Project Sam. So I'll just show you kind of these. And what's cool about Contact, like I said, is you can get these from all over the internet. There's so many of them by so many different companies. It's almost like in a way, if you think about how you get a DAW and you can download a bunch of free VST plugins, it's kind of similar to that where you download Contact and you can download tons of basic Contact files or NKI files to then bring in. And you can get these from any kind of third party uh, creator. So just playing you some of them from Project Sam Free Orchestra. 
It's kind of like a cinematic one. We have like that and the uh, four row horns. Now we have the Odin II. This synth is ridiculous. I mean, you have three different oscillators to start off with, in addition to tons of other features that I can get into. But first off, just showing you here, I have for the oscillators, I have an analog, a wavetable, a multi, a vector, a chip tune, an FM, a phase oscillator, a noise oscillator, and then I have a wave draw, chip draw, and spec draw. So it's amazing that you have a huge access to different oscillators. So for example, like just doing analog to start, then I could do wavetable, obviously, and I could pick any one of these. You know, just kind of showing you random ones. And then um, I have after wavetable the multi oscillator. All these different ones. And then we have the vector oscillator. So I can basically pick different ones here, which is insane. Like I could pick this, for example, which is going to be B, right? So I can kind of combine four different ones in a sense using some math, right? The X, Y coordinates. And then chip tune. Then we have the FM oscillator. Then we have the phase modulation oscillator. Noise oscillator. Pretty straightforward for that one. Next we have the wave draw. So basically I can draw anything that I want and then click this and then. Do make something super weird. So let's do so click, click a bunch and then or whatever. Then we have chip draw. So kind of same thing. So if I do something like this. I also can't really hear that too much. So excited like that. Really, really fun to do. And then the spec draw, so. And last, but definitely not least, Spitfire Audio Labs. And this reminds me a lot of Contact where you basically download the labs program and you can download basically different packs to import into it. So, so far I have uh, the trumpet, and the choir and the little simmer. The choir is very popular too, that kind of ambient, reminds me of like the Halo style choir. And then the little simmer to show you, do this one. So these are three that I've downloaded, but if you go to their site, it's insane that here, these are all 100% free. So some of these are kind of random, but as you can see, you know, trumpet fields, obviously, you know, uh, the whirly, a rare group piano, some strings, the moon guitar, London atmosphere, sounds like handbells, pedal pads, the music box, a modular piano, the choir, obviously, as I showed you, synth pads, frozen strings. And what's cool about this, obviously, drums, soft piano. What's cool about this is they're still adding and always adding in newer basically packs that you can download. So like I said, you download it once and you have access to all these.